So there's been some talks about 43311 and 44111 and like which one's better. And what if I just tell you just ignore the 44111? Yes, I know it's easier to grind 44111 and better for early game because it's easier to grind and then you transition from that to end game. But uh what if you could just skip that transition part and just cruise straight to end game and just start farming end game? All right, let's just consider what would be considered early game. For me, I feel like in the game right now, before 30 is still early game. And then once you hit 30, that's when you unlock gold echoes. And then that's where the real grind and stuff starts. And by that time, you can just instantly just go into and get gold echoes with option I'm going to mention later. Uh, but let's just talk about beforehand, like getting to 30. Uh, it's not too bad. You can just run whatever, right? It's purple, blues, whatever, because you can get replaced anyyways. It doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Just make sure you can just get the four-piece set. It doesn't matter what you run, right? Gold is where it kind of happens and where you start to grind. Uh, and you don't want to use too much Echo EXP anyway because you don't get one... You don't even... Well, you get like 70% back or something. You don't even get 100% back. So you don't want to be wasting that much EXP anyways. So I feel like if you just go straight for 4 you want at least for the, your main DPS right um you you pretty much can just be frugal with your rolls and you don't waste the because you, you can't re-roll that many times and you're gonna be running out of echo you speaking you're running out of tuners right so i figure you should just aim straight for the end game right there and then and then you can just kind of roll for the good one and if it's not good you can kind of stop and you save you save echo you speak because you're not rolling that many times right <laughs> Cause you're gonna end up replacing it anyways, or you can, you you could just give it on to the next character. But ev right now, everyone's just low on Echo USB for reals, man. And once you're level 30, get that data bank 15, cause that's what you want to concentrate on. Then you go do this. You want to make your way to the bottom right of the map, and look what this is. This is the freaking elusive realm, the roguelike mode. Just come here, right? and do the do the levels i did it with trial characters okay uh once i got the m17 i came in here i did it with trial characters i got enough i went straight into the shop right i got enough it's not here anymore because i got it but you get these selectors these gold selectors um you get you can just instantly just get two gold echoes right here uh and it'll guarantee your main electric or uh, elemental stat right so you just pick one just come here, get it, you get it early. You put this up your main DPS. This country only on your main DPS. Just get this, pump it up. It doesn't even matter what the substats are. Just pump it up, uh, do like a boss. You just keep running with that, and then you can slowly get in end you're in endgame now. You start farming echoes, or well, kind of like mid end game, but uh you can you already start transitioning right there and then, and you get better main stat like uh not like electro, electrode havoc or whatever, and then replace the current one from this. Right, replace the current one here because it could have bad stats or whatever. Um, and if you didn't know right now, there is an event that also gives you another one. Alloy Smelt, right? You get to 40 points, 70k points. I don't know if this uh mistranslated, I think it's 30 or something. 30k points, and you get another five star selector, man. You can put your second DPS. <laughs> you have a decent team already. You don't even need to worry about 44111, right? You're you just it really you just use this. This is pretty much gonna last you to start building your other characters by farming uh dailies. You can go meet the new people and friends, come to my stream or whatever. Uh and then I, if you need help getting your data bank level, I can just bump kill some uh red monster, get some gold echoes. So you you could totally just skip the 4411 stuff and then just end up going here yes you go here you're at this point like oh shoot i'm not getting any drops right meet some friends just go to the real world i i've been farming like sometimes but by myself or i go over to people's world just like one or two worlds it's not too bad and i get one main electro main stat for flutus flutus is like even harder because it's less spawn compared to the the heron and i think all the more a lot of the other mobs to be honest <laughs> And I get like one every two days or two to three days is not too bad. And then I just dump everything in there or I do the then I start rolling casually because then I have already a, a main electro set. So this is mostly for having a lightning main TBS. If you're running something else, you're already 
uh, you don't have the option for full four one 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 anyways, <laughs> and even if you are running lightning havoc, that that's your like your main DPS and that's where you're starting off. You already have a good start with those uh options I just mentioned. So I wouldn't worry too much about, it. and then you already like worry about like oh I need to make another new character or whatever. Um, you're already at end game. <laughs> you're already mid end game. You really started building out your other teams, right? Because you want to build your main DPS and your sub DPS first. And then you start putting other stuff, then you're kind of ready in an end game, in my opinion. I also want to point out, yes, this is going to take like some stamina, but you can do tacit fields, right? You look at the tacit fields, it's better rates than the one in the overworld, right? If you look at this, you're guaranteed electric and an ice, right? So if you somehow get a flutus, which is electric, there's no way it's going to be fusion or whatever, right? It's guaranteed. You already knocked out like half of the, the RNG out by doing this. You get freaking Electro and it's for sure going to be Electro. Like it's Electro Echo, right? It's Electro slash fusion. Or you get like a Heron, which is Electro slash... No, that's Electro slash fusion. Um, or if you get like an Ice, you know, it could be havoc slash glacial but it's for sure going to be glacial in here so then you already knock that out and then the only thing you need to hopefully get is the main stat and the main stat you hopefully is the one that's matching electro or glacial like just go to these tacit fields you have better rates of running them yes it's stamina half of like the event right now like half your stamina to go into the freaking event uh and then you have ascension you have the weeklies you spend two days of the week going to weeklies uh, and then you spend uh, Ascension is probably another two days or so and then you have like one or two days you can do Tacit View and then you can hopefully get more or you can use these free cubes that they're giving us they're giving a lot of free stuff not gonna lie <laughs> okay what if we just look at the math and just compare right just 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 for just for fun or, or something so I google I google like just the average damage for crit and I just took this formula okay I just took this formula I put it in my notepad what what's going on here? What is this? What is this empty screen? But anyways, <laughs> so I have that right here, and then I split it up right to the four four one one, and then the four three three one one, right? And then we look at the four three three one one. We have the extra elemental damage, so I added it in here, or maybe I should put it up there. But I added it in here, elemental damage, okay? And then over here, over here, I put one point one eight attack. So we're just gonna assume the attack is the same, right? But obviously for 4411, you have an extra main stat of attack, which is 1.18%. .18%. And then I'm just gonna ignore all the substats because that's freaking RNG. Obviously, if you have uh, crit rate, crit damage is more heavier on the 44111, like slightly better. Uh, but I'm just gonna ignore it right now. Just, 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 just to show what's happening here. All right, so it, First one here is that I have a crit rate and crit damage 4-4, four, four, right? So we have a crit rate 1-4 and a crit damage 1. That get, comes out to 1.14 uh, multiplier in a way. And then if we have uh, double crit, which is 20, 22%, right, is for the main stat for crit. And then crit damage is 39.7. So we have two crit now, right? So then we have the regular crit damage, which is 50%. They, they implied extra 100, okay? In all game, it's just, it's either it shows their transparency or it's not there, okay? But it's always implied the extra one. That's what this one is here. Um, and then we have the curtain right here. We plug it, just plug it in and you get 1.43. Now, if we look at the 44311, right? You just run the regular crit rate piece, which is 22. And then the regular crit damage, right? This is the regular standard 0.5 everything. And then you have one, and then, uh, I mean, then you add in the crit right here. But you have the elemental damage, right? If you have the 3-3, three, three, it's pretty much 0.6, right? Just straight up. It doesn't matter if you crit, don't crit, you get 60% extra damage. Just it. And if you crit somehow, do crit, you get bonus damage on top. So that comes out to 1.57. So this is higher than this, okay? This is higher than this. So down here, I just did something for fun. What if... I wanted to make how much crit damage do I need, right? How much crit damage do I need to actually have this multiplier from this? So TLDR, I, pl I just plug in all the numbers and I need about like 70% 70 
right? You just need seven for It's not too hard, right? That's like two substats of crit damage, and you can kind of equal this. But it's just something to think about, right? I just throwing it out there. Um, do what you will, because we do know no one's dying that four three two one one is better, right? Just that it's so much harder to find. But given that you can get the two selectors from the roguelike mode, right? And then you get two selectors from the Aloe Smell, and I think the next one. The next event next week, you can get another two, <laughs> right? Am, am I not wrong, right? So so don't worry about it. Just slowly grind for it and just don't even bother. You don't even need to bother with the, the 411. You just get the 4 degree from the beginning and just run with that for a while and then just slowly replace, slowly transition. You already start transitioning already, right? So hopefully this video uh, makes my point and let me know what your thoughts are because... Uh, this is the uh, hot take, I guess, now. <laughs>